What is going on, Safe Moon Army? It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. To all the new viewers, welcome to Safe Moon, a community driven innovation for good. And if you have not yet, make sure to come like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate your guys' support on the channel. And I know it's been about five days since I've put my last video out, but regardless, though, there's a lot going on with Safe Moon, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Safe Moon Globus, if you guys can come see on the website at safemoonglubus.com, we have our buying and selling pressure here, buying at 55.805, which is more than what the selling pressure is, which is really good for Safe Moon and for us. Uh, and so it's really nice to see that. The whales, as you can tell here, the dominance has gone down quite a bit uh, for Safe Moon. The top 10 only hold 36.26 billion. Um, and then which is only 7.55% of the supply here. Um, so that's gone down about 0.025%. And then you can see the top 25 only hold 10%. And then the top 100 only hold 14.25%, which is really, really good to see. And I'm really happy to know that you know our well dominance has gone down because if we come here to the price of safe moon, you can see that we're sitting at 3075 uh, And because of that, you know, when we have a massive run up in the past, what we've seen is, let me kind of pull the chart over. In the past, what we've seen is the fact that anytime we've had a run up, we've had some sell offs from whales, and including when we had that, 30, that LP uh, migration that John did here. Uh, or the Safe Moon team did. We had massive well sell off, which kind of got them out of Safe Moon. But it looks like as of right now, with this price run up, some wells have sold off a little bit, but the price impact hasn't had very much. So it's really beautiful to see this run up here. And I believe our floor here is now at 3667 or 3067. And then we're trying to go for that. 308 so hitting that eight floor will be really nice to see and i think we can definitely see that now uh, we had some um, pretty uh, hard resistance here at that 307 and then we had that breakthrough and now we're running up towards this 308 and so that well dominance should it affect us nearly as much yes could a well sell off at some point possibly but i think wells are starting to see the confidence in Safe Moon, uh, with the fact that Safe Moon is being so much more active with us and giving us so much more bullish news and updates. So I could see a lot of whales just holding off from selling anything. And we could see, you can really see what happens when there's not a lot of selling off. And that's with any project, right? But I think Safe Moon in a bear market like we are right now, making this kind of price action is really healthy for us. So I could see us breaking through this. 0.308 so this eight floor and then shooting up to possibly eating a zero so if we can get past this 308 i can definitely see us eating a zero potentially within the next couple days even a week or two so especially with safe moon continuously putting things out on twitter and being more active we can definitely see some serious price action uh, with that being said, though, the volume on the Safe Moon swap is under a million, which is something I don't like to see. I'd rather see it over a million, uh, which is very interesting. But regardless, though, we are having some serious price action despite the volume being low on the swap. Current holders are we finally broke through that 70. So we have 671,098 addresses on V2. That's continuous. That's con going to continue to go up as we have more price action and more people buying in. Um, so a welcome to all the new Safe Moon holders. We're grateful for you all and happy to have you all part of the Safe Moon army. With that being said, though, let's take a quick look at Twitter here. Um, I'm not going to go through um, a bunch of things, but we did get confirmation that yes, the Safe Moon card is still on track for Q2, which is going to end Ju at the end of June. So June 30th is the end of Q2. So someone had asked, when will the Safe Moon card be available? And is there a plastic type and a virtual? And Safe Moon the official Safe Moon page responded Q2. Yes and yes. And, you know, it's interesting that they just said Q2. Doesn't, you know, it could come, you know, 
as early as beginning of June, right? It could come as early as that. And with Safe Moon being so active, a lot of people are anticipating something to happen. We're not quite sure exactly what that could be. Could it be the Safe Moon Exchange being released, the first version of it, and then the card, right? Because as many people know, in order to, uh, if we come to the Safe Moon page here, um, let me take a quick look here. Um, if we come down here to where they asked us, uh, I believe it was this right here. So to that question, what a lot of people are saying is, so Safe Moon Centralized Exchange is coming soon too because to have a card, you would need the KYC and the KYC needs the Safe Moon Exchange. Mind blown. So a lot of people are thinking, you know, could we be getting the Safe Moon Exchange? Um, but we've also been told, you know, at the end of the day, we don't need an exchange to do the card, but a lot of people are saying we do need it because of the know your customer. Yes, and to add Q2 ends June, so by the end of next month, we should be getting card and exchange. Yes, if all goes well, that's when we can anticipate the exchange. Well, time will tell. I believe that we will be getting the exchange uh, prior to the card. And so a lot of people are saying the same thing. Um, a lot of people are anticipating it. Safe Moon being so active, um, we could be getting a lot more uh, come June. So June is around the corner. Last month of Q2, could we be getting a, quite a bit of uh, stuff dropping all at once? Let's also not forget that we will be having the, you know, they did put a tweet out in regards to um the exchange listings so we did get that also from safe moon when they tweeted that out which exchange listings would we want um and let's see if we can find it real quick here i know it was way back when so this was on may 18th so safe moon army you really got stuck yada yada this was all brought up right could we get uh these three exchanges all at once Possibly, possibly, but it obviously KuCoin was one that people really wanted. So could we be getting a lot of these different things all come? Maybe we get one exchange next month along with the Safe Moon exchange and the card. Um, and then we get another exchange right after that. It could possibly happen. Now, there's a lot of things happening right now, and that's why we're seeing so much price action with Safe Moon because there is a lot to anticipate. Um, we don't know when any of this is going to happen. We know that the card is going to happen, Q2. That's a guarantee, right? That's been confirmed. Do we know when we're getting another listing? No. Do we know when we're getting the Safe Moon Exchange? No. We know it's happening this year, but we don't know when this year. So regardless, though, a lot of really bullish news for Safe Moon. Um, I'm really excited. Everybody go check out Jeremy B., um, he's been really doing a lot for the Safe Moon Army by having the Safe Moon trailer here, um, which is really cool to see. Um, and then also, um, we do know that Grow, Glow and Grove Token are something that everyone's really happy to see. Grow Token is doing amazing. Um, and then the Mooncast, you know, if you guys hadn't checked out the article yet, check that out. The Safe, Safe Moon Space Capsule, I didn't order one. It was too pricey for me to honestly uh, do it. Um, so, you know, maybe, and I didn't really like the hat. Honestly, I would have worn the hat, but I don't like the flat tops. I'm more of a trucker hat kind of guy. Um, the merch looks really nice, um, but maybe on the ne next Safe Moon Capsule, I'll do it. But um, yeah, maybe if they bring it down. It would be awesome, but at least they're offering free shipping for U.S. and Canada, which saves you a couple dollars there. Um, so anyways, hopefully we can get some more stuff in regards to the card, maybe some type of email. Um, but regardless, though, I'm really stoked about what's to come with Safe Moon. Comment down below what you guys think. What's your guys' prediction on when the exchange is going to come out? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on a lot of people anticipate it mid-June or July. Everyone's thinking Q3 for the card, but it looks like Safe Moon's pretty set on Q2. So if everyone's anticipating it after Q2, maybe John's right. Maybe it is before 
um, what we expect it to be. Um, but then again, manage your expectations. But I would love to hear, and then I would love to hear what kind of volume you guys think we will see once the Safebin Exchange and the card are officially out. Can we see anywhere between, you know, five to ten million in volume per day consistently, uh, or higher, maybe ten to thirty million per day? Uh, consistently or will we see it higher who knows um, we will have to find out but I am definitely very very excited I think June is going to be a huge month for safe moon so June couldn't get here any quicker to be honest so anyways with that being said make sure to like comment and subscribe I will talk to you all in the next video so have a good one safe moon army and we'll talk soon